Welcome back. So I've got in the habit of making these how to do assignment X videos. So here's the one for assignment five, but it's going to be a pretty short video because most of this stuff is, is in the previous more general theory video. So watch that video first. Okay. But basically what I want you to do is perform some hand executions on, well, there's going to be three separate algorithms. There's part zero, which has this guy here. And then there's part one, which has two algorithms in it. Algorithm 1.0 and algorithm 2.0, I guess, like algorithm 1.1. So this guy here will fully parenthesize, uh, or works on a fully parenthesized infix ex expression. And it just evaluates them. So, so this is a couple of infix expressions, you know, one times two plus three and blah, 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 all these guys, it just, figures out the answer. So the answer to this first one's going to be, you know, two times one is two plus three. This should be five. And this guy's going to be, uh, well, two plus three is, is, uh, wait a minute. This one's six, right? Yeah. One times two is two and it's five. Yeah. One times two is two. Two plus three is five. Yeah. But this one, you got to do the plus first. So two plus three, is five times one. Hey, you still get a five. Okay, great. But anyway, uh, it's just going to evaluate these, and it, it only uses a, a uh, it only uses a stack because, well, actually, it uses two stacks. So you got to have a stack named nums and a stack named ops. And um, it requires that the expression be fully parenthesized. That's why this guy has like a zillion parens because I've got a plus operation, a times, a plus, a divide, a times, a plus, a times, a plus. So it's got to have a pair of parentheses for every one of those operations. This algorithm only works if it's fully parenthesized. Okay, so you're going to have, you're going to have a bunch of ops stacks and you're going to have a bunch of nums stacks. I'd like you to redraw the stack after every change. And I don't want to I don't want to totally execute this. I want you to kind of figure it out, but I can kind of get started. So so we're gonna read a character. Let's do this first guy here. We're gonna read a character. If it's a number, so it's not a number, it's an operator. So we're just we're making a distinction between operators and right parentheses here. So this guy's a right parentheses, so we're gonna do these these guys. Oh, actually, it's a left parenthesis, so we do nothing. Left parenthesis, do nothing. Then um, you get another left parenthesis, you're going to do nothing. Then you're going to get a one. That's a num a number, so you're going to push it on nums. Then you'll uh, then you'll be looking at the multiply here, and that's an operator, so we push it onto the ops. Then we get a two, and that's a number, so we push it on there. Then then we get the the right paren here, this right paren. So we'll pop twice, we'll pop the operation, and we'll basically apply the operation. Well, the answer is num two op num one. So, you know, one times two in this example. So you'll pop twice and apply the operation and the stack will, it'll look like this now. See, you could notate that. Um, you could probably notate it like this, maybe with an arrow pointing down to that or something like that. Um, anyway, continue in that fashion and draw it up nice. You know, don't just scribble like I'm doing here, but draw it up pretty on a computer. And like, you're free to kind of invent your own notations. Like, I like this little squiggly, this little arrow with the or this little carrot thing with the multiply in there. But if, if you want to invent some other way of marking this up with colors or other symbols or something, that's fine. Because part of what I'm trying to get you to do is develop analysis techniques that work for you. Okay? Analysis techniques that work for you. So um, one of your goals should be that anybody, a non-computer, you know, just a regular person, like, you know, your little, uh, your little sibling could, you could show it to a, to them and they should be able to understand, you know, I don't know, it's maybe high school level. Okay. But a non-coder should be able to understand your diagrams. 
if if they're very patient and maybe you you know you maybe you buy them lunch or something they'll let you sit down and and point this and point at them and explain this stuff okay the second algorithm is the the one that I went over in the notes okay where I hand executed this in the in the previous algorithm I want you to do the same thing but for these four expressions right here okay and so draw it uh, you know draw it up nice in a computer with show the stack lots of times and show the stack changing every time okay that's that's about it you know it's gonna for your second two algorithms it might your execution might look something like this but neater than this you know do as I say not as I do you know make it pretty because that's um, as a student that's that's a, a good thing for you to do because what why do I want you to make it look pretty because that's a study technique right if you if you if, if you're just taking a diagram and redrawing it and making it look all perfect you you're you're studying that all the steps in detail because you have to put them in the right little spot to make it look pretty it's it's an excellent way to get these concepts in your brain, in your brain more solid the so format is not just you know it's not trivial it's a very important study technique okay so walk through these algorithms do what they tell you to do make it look pretty and uh, generate a nice document and send that in to me. All right, thanks. Have fun with that. See you next time.